as with most things, it never goes according to plan. So I've actually, I couldn't get the VESC tool to run on my laptop. So I'm back upstairs on the desktop. I have the motor out on my test bench connected with a USB. Um, this is the forward reverse switch, the VESC. This is the flip ski motor, flip sky motor. And my two batteries, 10 cell, 8,000 milliamps. So I ran the unknown Chinese brand, which had the right size shaft, size shaft even. Um, it was pulling on this test that I'm just about to show you about 40 amps, whereas the previous motor was pulling 60. So this would be like a third of the power. Um, so yeah, that's why it's cheap. <laughs> uh, also the sensor cable, although I repaired it, it had the uh, the red wire had broken. It's not picking up the sensor on the motor test that the VES, VESC tool does. So it's again quite coggy when it takes up power. Um, so I'm just about to run the flip sky motor on the motor test, which is here. So if I just click OK, what it does is it auto identifies the motor. So it makes some funny noises and it spins. As you can hear now, it does a full load current test. should be coming to an end and then what it does is it shows you the screen uh, of what it's found with the motor and sensors or sensorless and how many amps it will take so that should be tested now just waiting on the screen there we go 61.5 amps so slightly more than the uh, previous motor that I had in there, but also it's picking up hall sensors. So that is all good. Just gonna check the forward and reverse. You can invert it if it's turning the wrong way. That was turning the right way. So that's good. So I've just finished that. So, I now do need to make a different um, sprocket. I've actually got another sprocket rather than trying to adapt the one that I made for the previous motor. So I'll put a different sprocket on there with this eight mil uh, hole for the shaft. And we'll take it for a run. This motor seems to run very smoothly compared to the Chinese one, so I suppose, yeah, it's kind of matched speed controller and motor. KV's a bit high. Um, I think it might even pull ooh, 40 miles an hour with that. Uh, but it's the low speed performance that I'm really looking for. Make it nice and smooth off the start and quite talky. I think 60 amps and 10 cell is just under 4,000 watts, so about four kilowatts. Even if it's the same power as the other one, um, not really that interested in it, as long as it's smooth and talky. Uh, so let's just, I'm just gonna run a quick setup input. This has to be set on duty cycle for the RS plunger pot that I've got. So I'm just going to set that up. So this is on an ADC input for um, 
throttle hand controls, you can just see that slider going up and down. That's as I'm pushing the pot. So I'm just going to apply that, go to next. And control type, we're going to go for duty cycle. And finish. So that should run the motor now on. That looks quite smooth. very slowly which is good right so that is programmed let's get that back in and get Maddie to do a little test with it and see if it's a gain over the last motor well I suppose anything must be if it starts from uh, stationary is just a quick test to make sure it works okay from stationary. I have chief test driver Maddie. Okay, Maddie, take it slowly. Still doing the front end trim, so that's all off at the moment. Try and go really slowly. Is that as slow as it goes? It definitely starts okay from stationary with the Centered motor. Take it for a little spin up the road, Maddie. Huh? Take it for a little spin up the road. speed.